Tous les noirs, où est-ce que tu es? Où est-ce que tu es? Tous les noirs. I saw this concerning you watching this video. You did not click on this video by accident for no reason. It is because God has something in store for you. Believe and you are going to receive. I saw you winning. Oh yes, you are going to win for sure. No matter what you will win in this life. We are going, heaven knows where we are going, we know we will win, we will win, oh, we know, we will win, oh, we know, we know, heaven knows where we are going. We know we will win. We will definitely get there. Right? All you need is to have faith. And when you have faith, you can move mountains. These people take this scripture for granted. Thinking, oh, it's just a saying. No. When you believe that you can, I'm telling you, your brain your mind will start giving you how you can do it and achieve it. I am telling you, no matter how long it takes, a man can still move a mountain. You can move a mountain. You are a mountain mover. I'm telling you. People think this is just a saying. It's a word to flatter. But no, if you believe you can move mountain, you can move mountain in this life. I am telling you, no matter how long it takes, chosen ones, permit me to share this real life, true life story about a man who moved mountain, the mountain man. This man is called Dashraf Majid. Dashraf Majid is an Indian man and lost the loved one because the road to the hospital at then was about 55 kilometers and due to delay on the road due to a mountain they couldn't get there on time and this man lost the wife. So this man said to himself, I'm not going to allow this thing to happen to anybody anymore. I am going to make a way through this mountain. And this man is a farmer, so he is sold about three of his goats to get the necessary tool, the chisels, the hammers, the shovel, the spade, whatever. And he started making a way through the mountain. He was on this for 22 solid years. He never gives up. Digging through the mountain to make a way through it. So that the, 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 the kilometers, the 55 kilometers will now be reduced. So this man with the spirit of not giving up, persistence, perseverance, forbearance, patience, consistency, dedication to do it, was doing it. And the funny thing is, People call him crazy. People see him to be crazy. They say, oh, he's a madman. I once told you that when you are acting faith, when you believe in something and you start going about it, doing it, people will see you to be crazy. They will question your faith, your integrity, and try to look down upon you. For instance, when Noah was building the ark, 
people saw him to be crazy until the storm came and they realized the importance of what he was doing or what he did. That is the same with this man, Dashraf, Majid. Majid. This man persevered, persists, showed up each and every day and made a way through. And the length of the road that is 55 kilometers has been reduced to 15 kilometers just by making a way through the mountain. And now the people in that village, that area, have access to social amenities, to hospitals, to electricity, to water, to what they don't have. They, they, they used not to have. They now have them. Because of one man who believes he can move mountain, and for sure, he did it. He achieved that. And in later years, his name was captured in the newspapers, in the media. This is a real life story. This ain't joke. So, if I tell you that I saw this concerning you, you winning, you moving mountain, it is true. Believe. And so will it be. No matter how many people were laughing at this man, seeing him to be crazy, he never saw himself to be crazy because he know what he wants to achieve. If you are yearning, desiring for something, nothing can stop you. If you see yourself as a winner, nothing can stop you. If you see yourself becoming a superstar, nothing can stop you. If you see yourself becoming a winner, nothing can stop you. I am telling you. The problem with many people is that they settle for less. They don't believe. They have misbelieved, disbeliefs. And that is limiting them. They have doubts. They have several excuses to give. This man, Maji, never gave an excuse. He told himself, I'm going to make a way. I'm not going to let this thing that happened to my wife, this tragedy happens to anybody in my village anymore. I'm going to sacrifice and make a way. And truly, truly, he made it. So if you tell yourself too that you can, no matter how long it takes, you can still become who you destined to be, that millionaire, that business tycoon, that great person, that successful man, you are definitely going to become. Because success is freedom. Success, get rid of all fears, all limiting beliefs, all doubt, all hurry, lack of understanding. Success, get rid of all these things. And success paves way for freedom. Your frustrations, your stresses, they are all going to reduce. That is with success. So success it's a good thing. With success, your children are going to have that better education. You're going to stay in that better house, that spacious house, that spacious room, and have your freedom in doing your things. With success, oh, medically you can treat yourself very well. So it's good. To set your eyes on something and pursue it and tell yourself, I am going to do it. I am going to make it. I am going to push through. No matter what life brings, 
I know I can. And the moment you begin telling yourself I can, your mind will give you how to go about it. I am telling you, a lot of people, they don't want to think. Yes, they don't want to think because thinking make it possible. Thinking how to do it will help you do it. Some people, they don't want to think. They only want to memorize. And that is where school has failed a lot of people. You don't need to be a superhuman or have a super intelligence or super something. All you need is to believe. Have the believe mindset and be passionate and wanted that you can do it. Don't doubt. Don't have the mindset of defeat. Have the mindset of a victor. The mindset of a winner. The mindset of an overcomer. The mindset of a conqueror. It is about the mentality chosen ones. Let me tell you one thing. You see, the lion is not the fastest animal on the land. The lion is not the huge animal. It's not the fastest. The cheetah is the fastest, right? The lion is not a huge animal. The elephant is huge. But why is the lion called the king of the jungle? It is because of the mentality of the lion. The mindset of the lion. That every day it got to hunt. The lion cannot go a day without food. So every day the lion has the mindset of hunting, of achieving something. Have that mindset, that lion mindset of pursuing your dreams each and every day, each and every day. And I tell you, no matter how long it takes, you are certainly, definitely going to get there. Oh yes. Just like the man, Dashrath, my G, did, you can. That is who you are as a chosen one, to make a difference, to do something that will serve humanity. That is what you are born for. That is why you have this life. So when you have this life, you need to appreciate it and feel good to be alive. I am telling you, it feels good to be alive. Achieving your goals. Stop giving excuses about your health, about your intelligence, about your looks, about your educational background. There are people without college degrees, they've made it. There are people without legs, without hands, they've made it. There are people going through severe sickness, they made it. So what is your excuse? You have no excuse. You need to look up to something, pursue it and achieve it. I tell you, if you believe, you will achieve. For I tell you, if you have faith as little as the master said, you will say to this mountain, be thou removed and it will move. Right? What God is telling us that he has put in the strength, the power, the courage, the bravery, the enthusiasm in us. That if we tell ourselves, we are going to make it. We will definitely make it. That is how God has programmed us, has wired us. But society is giving us a different programming altogether. 
And that is why you got to stay woke. And figure out who you are and start to believe in the power of your own mind. And I tell you, you can achieve anything with thinking, solutions, thinking how to do something. For sure, you are certainly going to do it. That's it, chosen ones. I see you moving mountains. I see you doing great. I see you becoming a superstar. I see you how oh, becoming the president of a nation. I see you as a great engineer of our time. You are born to be great. Don't settle for less. Stop living in self-pity. Stop living in sorrow. Stop living in misery. For God has created you to be great. You not being great, you are mocking God. You are belittling God because your God is great and you are created in his image and likeness. And he has given you such strength, such power. Believe you can and you can do it. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. I'm out for now.